Hey everyone, this is Dana from NextGen. If this is your first time here, thank you. And please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Today we're doing a wealth case study on Mitchell. Mitchell was born in 1985, which would make him a millennial. He was an only child to military parents. Mitchell grew up all over the country and lived in military family housing. Um, he also attended private Christian school. His parents wanted Mitchell to have a strong foundation. Now, Mitchell's parents owned property. So before retiring, Mitchell's parents bought a house with the proceeds from the two property sales. Now, the two properties Mitchell never lived in. So instead of an allowance, Mitchell worked in the family business. So his parents were in the military and they also had a home base business. His parents added him as an authorized user on their credit card. When he graduated from high school, his parents enrolled him in college with a $1,500 limit on his credit card and he also received a cell phone that was part of the family plan. Um, as far as his college payments were concerned, they did a pay as you go program that had a life insurance writer. Now, unfortunately, Mitchell's father passed away before he completed his first semester of college. Now, Mitchell had a strong work ethic he took part-time jobs between semesters and graduated debt-free with a four-year degree and a new job. Because he was an authorized user on the credit card and his mother paid the balance in full, when they ran his credit, he graduated with a 805 credit score. His mother gave him a new car as a graduation gift and she paid for the insurance the first year. He created his budget when he was in college and after college, he saved for his emergency fund and quarterly vacations. So he did have fun along the way. After 10 years, he started his family and purchased his home. He purchased the new construction from his mother. In other words, he pays the mortgage to his investor mother. Now that I've given you a summary background, let's look at Mitchell's personal habits, goals, and plan of action using the generational wealth dimensions. These are Mitchell's goals. And this is Mitchell's plan of action. As you can see, Mitchell is off to a good start. Now he does have the entrepreneurial spirit. His ultimate goal is to grow his family's generational wealth. Currently, Mitchell and his mother are looking for property, which will be the family compound. We're looking forward to checking on Mitchell and his family in the future. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. 